the new Tatula 100. This reel is absolutely amazing. Here it is, the new Tatula 100. We're talking a reinforced brass gear that makes it even stronger than the previous Tatula. It's amazing. That is awesome. Unbelievable reel, ultra smooth, super durable, super lightweight, crisp. Now I'll be able to have one reel across the board. I'm excited about that. Plus, this thing looks bitching. What's up, guys? Morgan Prominence here with Hobie Fishing. Welcome to a live broadcast that we have with one of our very special partners, uh, Daiwa Fishing. Today we have uh, Mark Mills on with us, and we're going to talk a lot about uh, fishing reels and kayak fishing. And Mark's got some uh, great words and wisdom that uh, he's going to help us out with to understand why Daiwa makes the best reels in the world, in my opinion, for kayak fishing. So, with uh, no further ado, Mark, come on in, man. And welcome. All right, Morgan, my main man. What's going on, buddy? How are you? Thank you for uh, allowing to be part of this Hobie Community uh, Facebook Live deal. This is awesome. Yeah, this is the first time we're doing it, so I figured um, I better call someone that I know pretty well in case <laughs> we uh, we mess things up. So well, I'll probably you, mess things up. I do that all the time. <laughs> uh well cool well um yeah that, i really uh enjoyed watching that little opening video of the tatula and i know you guys have a lot of um fun stuff in the works yeah um, you're working hard to build product and get it out there mark who are you and uh <laughs> and can you tell us a little bit about uh yourself and also daiwa yeah sure no problem love to um Fortunately, I've got one of the best jobs in the world, hands down. I'm lucky. I've been very fortunate in my career. Um, I've been in the fishing industry for 32 years, so I'm not that old. I'm 47. Uh, but I've done it, everything that there is to do in the fishing industry. It's been awesome. Um, I've worked for Daiwa here for a little over five years now. Um, my title at Daiwa is uh, Marketing Field Manager. Um, what that says is that I actually get the opportunity to travel around the country, Get to deal with all the pro staff guys, kayak guys, saltwater guys, offshore, onshore guys, offshore guys, pro bass anglers, all that cool stuff. I get to deal with them, and I also get to go out and actually look at products and kind of come up with product ideas to bring to the you know uh, Daiwa headquarters to future develop stuff. Um, what is the next thing that anglers are going to want? Um, what are we missing in our lineup? You know, will we make money on it? All that kind of stuff. And uh, it's been tough this year. We all know due to COVID, but we still have a great network of individuals. And um, it's 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 a really a great job. It's one of those things I always, when I got in the fishing industry, it was a, a kind of a cool thing. I It's like anybody, and you guys probably that are listening do the same thing. When you'd wake up in the morning before a fishing trip or try to go to bed before a fishing trip, all you could do is think about fishing. That's how I was. <laughs> and that's why I wanted the job. That's what I did. And I worked hard to work for, you know, two other competitors in the industry other than Daiwa. So I, I know the ins and outs probably better than anybody in the community when it comes to that. So it's been, a, it's, it's excellent. Nice. Yeah. Mark lives just up the road from me here in California and Daiwa is basically one of our sister companies, you know, and um, everything that we do with Hobie, Hobie Outdoor Adventures TV show, the Hobie Bass Open Series, the Hobie Fishing Worlds, Daiwa has been a huge part of it and a huge uh, supporter and promoter. So um, we're happy to have you guys on. Um, so you guys, where, where's Daiwa located headquarters? So we're our, our headquarters are in Japan, but in the United States, we're in Cypress, California. So Southern California, uh, Cypress area, um, which is from where I live, about, about 30 miles. But actually, it's literally down the street where I grew up as a kid. Like, it's a mile from my old yeah. house, um, which is all kind of neat going out to lunch to the, all the old places. But... We're there. It makes it really easy for the Southern California angler to, you know, come in and, and get their products if they, they're having any type of issues, uh, service behind the counter and all that. Um, we're in a very fortunate fishing area, especially for kayaking. As you know, San Diego, we've got good offshore kayaking. You're seeing more and more bass tournaments uh, in Southern California for kayak anglers. So it's a great kayak community as well. You've got you know, um, Huntington Beach area, you've got Long Beach area, you've got San Diego, Dana Point, all those areas are great for launching kayaks. Yeah, Ton tons of area to fish here. Well, yep. um, every, everyone that's tuning in, if you guys have questions for Mark while we're doing this, please put them, put them in the comments. And, um, you know, there's also something very exciting. Mark, why don't you tell our viewers, um, I, you're going to make it rain today. 
with some prizes. I guess so a little bit. So we're actually going to do uh, two two different prizes. So you're going to either uh, get Alexa Win 300 or a Tatula SV. And we wanted something, the Tatula is more bass focused or inshore uh, guys that are, you know, in the Gulf region or wherever, because I know you've got a broad spectrum of anglers. And then the Lexa Win um, Real 300 is a little bit more saltwater driven. It could be for, you know, guys in the Northeast, uh, guys snook fishing in Florida. So we wanted something that would, uh, you know, for both of them. So you're going to get both of those reels, Pick which reel you want. Make sure in that you put where you're from so we can pick the, the winners tonight. Um, you'll get an either or. We will be picking two winners for that. But uh, it's a it's just a, a bonus. And like I said, we appreciate being part of you, being part of your, uh, you know, Hobie community and everything that you guys do, too. It's a it's a great partnership. Well, cool. That's very kind of you guys to be giving back. So, guys, just to be clear, if you would like to win one of those prizes in the comments, put your name, where you're from and which reel uh, if you forget the names of the reels, it's a Lexa Win 300 or it's a two last beat, or you can just put fresh or salt water, depending on which one you prefer to win. But uh, Mark, let's jump into um, a couple things. So you're a kayak fisherman. Um, do you have any fun stories or, or, or anything kind of how did you get into kayak fishing and how does that play into your life a little bit? So I don't kayak, kayak fish as much now, but I was literally in that first generation of kayak anglers, let's say, you know, 10 or 12 years ago when it got so popular, I, I loved it. It was the opportunity to, um, and, and you've seen it this year, get outside, do your own thing. It was quiet. You could paddle out, you could, you know, catch calico bass, you could catch sand bass, spotted bay bass. And I really enjoyed that. And I, I moved from doing just that kind of stuff. I got into uh, Plastic Navy, which was kind of a kayak circuit uh, for tournament fishing. I do fish a lot of freshwater bass tournaments and saltwater bass tournaments now. And then I think probably one of my funnest trips that I've ever go on, I did six of them, um, and I sponsored it. Um, we would go out to San Clemente Island, and we do a mothership kayak trip to San Clemente Island. That was the best trip ever. Catching yellowtail, catching rockfish, calico bass you know, paddling up to the island when there was no swell. And it was just a great opportunity. And it was really, really super fun. So um, those are kind of my, my some of my best things. Trout fishing is awesome, too. I think there's no better way to catch trout and being on a lake early in the morning when it's quiet in that October, uh, November yeah. in California and paddling around. It's awesome. Cool. Well, yeah, same same thing for me. I, and I know yourself, you've, you've gone to travel all over the country, all over the world. Um, you know, and we have viewers tuning in from from everywhere today. So so welcome, everyone. And uh, we want to hear your redfish questions, flounder, your muskie, your trout, your salmon, everything um, that you guys can throw at us. We'd love to um, to hear what you know, what you want to know about. So um, let's talk freshwater fishing to kind of get yeah. things off, you know. Um, so I do a little bit of it myself. I, I use a lot of the Tatula reels and mm -hmm. um, for my spinning setups, usually ballistics, I use them for saltwater inshore and freshwater. But let's talk about two or three rigs, you know, like if you were to pick one Daiwa baitcaster, what would it be for uh, for bass fishing? Well, ideally, that's kind of one of the reels. I mean, the Tatula SV, hands down, is a great reel um it's easy to cast um it really I, I hate to say it doesn't backlash but it really reduces your backlashing um just the way the sv system works um you know on a kayak yeah, is what, difficult what, to what is what is the s what is what is sv sv is like super versatile casting and uh what it does is that actually i have a, an sv spool here um and um, a side plate i can show you guys real quick so the spool goes in here this is tough to do you know on camera but i'm going to do my best you know analogy of it so what it does is this is your your side plate this is the spool what it does we have an air brake system on the sv and at a high you know uh, centrifugal force of the spool will cause this little piece to move forward as you can see it's kind of spring loaded and what that does is it slides out and it actually creates more braking than what you set the reel for to reduce the overall inertia and speed of the reel. That keeps you from getting backlash, especially on the initial cast, and then once it hits the water. So literally, if you set this right, you could make your cast, take your thumb off the spool, and when it hits the water, it won't backlash. Plus, you'll still get the distance that you need. Um, and that makes it nice. Also, if you're casting, say, a crankbait or a spinnerbait that's fairly non-aerodynamic, um, as it does what's weird stuff in the air, that 
SV system controls that, um, reducing any type of backlash that you would get on that. So it's a very great nice. system to have. Yeah, I remember you showing that to me one year at ICAST, and I was like, that's that's impossible. There's no way you could do that. And then couple the SV system, you guys also have the T-Win system on there, right? So how does that work? Yeah, so it's kind of the whole system. So uh, we have the T-Win okay. system, and um, it's kind of still all part of the same scenario. So the T-Win system, and this is actually the new reel that we'll show you. Um, see that aperture that's right there? In free spool, that opens up. Every reel in the industry uses a round um, level wind. And what happens is that once the line's over here, that line has to go back and forth. And every time that back line goes back and forth with just a round level wind, it reduces how far the reel's going to cast due to friction. But what it also does is that when your line goes back and forth, your line slows down. When it slows down, your spool does not. Your spool doesn't know that for the most part. And what happens is that that's where you start to create backlashes. That's where you have to thumb your spool on a lot of reels. This really eliminates that because it allows the line to travel outside of that. Now, when you put it in gear, you're just in that little tight spot. It keeps a nice, even line lay on your wow. reel. So that is that is a patents we have. That's innovation that Daiwa has. We've done a great job. We have a great group of engineers. These are the things that we look at to making the products. What's next? What's better? And what's going to separate us from the competition? Awesome. Well, I also know from a you know a kayak angler's perspective, some of us like to spend a lot of money on our gear, and some of us you know prefer to to go a cheaper route, but it seems like that Tatula range is right there, kind of in the middle. It's a high-end product, but it's really well-priced. So um, that's a really cool setup. Yeah, MSRP on those range of about 199 bucks, right in that range, which, you know, it's to get a good reel, you're looking at right at that price point. That's kind of the sweet spot. Yeah. You can get all the features that you want at that $199 um, and, and all that. And, you know, what's nice is that it's a conventional system, meaning that, uh, and, and manual system. It works off of springs. There's no DC. There's nothing of that nature. So it's going to work for you time and time again on that. Perfect. Okay. Well, let's switch gears. Um, that, I mean, it seems like that'll cover you different gear ratios and stuff like that, put in different line on it for a right. lot of different bait casting scenarios. Yeah, gear so, ratios is all depending on the technique that you're doing, you know, on that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, what about um, kind of a go-to spinning, like what what size would you pick? Is there is there a model that you would recommend for someone in that like intermediate to experience level? Yeah, you know what? You hit really kind of the the the, the perfect scenario there. The ballistic is really a, a great reel to have a, in that price point range. It's very lightweight. Um, we also do Fuego. It's a little bit less. It's ninety nine bucks. Um, but both of those reels have two has a, have a feature on them that is really good for kayak fishing, and that feature is called Mag Seal. Um, and what that is, is uh, on, on the mag seal reels, um, where your main shaft um, and, your, and your rotor meet, water can travel down into the gearbox. And what mag seal does, it's an actual oil. It's an oil that's magnetically charged um, that doesn't allow water, air, or contaminants to get down into the one-way roller bearing or into the uh, gear set itself. And being that you're on a kayak, it's wet, you're getting spray, you're getting paddle, you know, paddle spray, all that. Um, it, it still doesn't do good for your reel to go underwater. So that does happen a lot with kayak fishing. I understand that. You grab a fish, you don't realize that your reel's three feet underwater. It won't help you there, <laughs> but it'll help you when you're paddling out if you're careful with your reels. And, Mark, and that's important. Mark, you know we don't paddle, right? We only <laughs> that paddle. That is true. That is true. You paddle. That's I forgot about advantage. that. It's all pedals. I forgot all about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the benefit of that. And that's the benefit exactly. about kayak, Hobie kayaks that you can paddle and you don't have to hold trying to troll. So there is exactly. benefits to that. Too. I forgot all about that now. I know, right? So, we're we're going to get you yeah. back into it. I know. It, well, that's, hey, when I did when I did those trips, they were all over to St. Clemente Island. They're all on Hobies. And I did enjoy that, especially when it gets yeah. windy. I know that for a fact. So, yes, um, but yeah, those are, the, well, no, those are the features we have that do that. that that mag seal, I've seen it again at, you know, being lucky enough to work in the industry and go to go to shows and stuff. But if you guys want to check it out, just Google Daiwa mag seal and check out how you can like run a magnet about, around it. And the oil literally like just does crazy stuff. It's really, really cool. And, and it makes so much sense. Another amazing piece of technology that you guys are integrating into your reels that, 
you know, like, like one thing for me before I even started working for Hobie and, and necessarily using Daiwa on a promotional um, standpoint, I bought a lot of Daiwas, I owned a lot of Daiwas, and I could not find a reel that could stand up to the abuse that I put my Daiwas through. And, you know, they, they, they're high quality, have amazing drags, gears, bearings, and you can abuse them very much and, and they're going to hold up to stuff. I, I had a, uh, a Daiwa Soltis 4500 spinning reel that I probably traveled around with for four years. I took three trips to Panama with it and caught caught so many fish. I was switching the reel handle from side to side throughout the day and I still use that reel today. It's amazing. Yeah. So, and that Saltis actually has mag seal. That's one of the first reels that we put huh, mag seal there in. You go. Um, and that really does help. And actually, that that whole technology came from the aerospace industry. Um, believe it or not, NASA used it. I hate to use the word NASA, but they really did. They're the ones that used it um, on the wrists and stuff. So, uh, of your um, aerospace uh, outfits, um, so you could turn your wrist and it wouldn't trap any air or anything would get into it. So it's a very good. Really well done system, and um, we it, it works good. We have a patent on it. Nobody else can use it, um, and it's taken a few years to catch on. But like anglers like yourself have realized what a benefit that is. Nice. Well, cool. That I think that gives us a pretty good start on freshwater stuff. If anyone has more mm -hmm. questions, put them in the comments. And just to remind you, if you're if you're just joining us, we are giving away two Daiwa reels, Alexa 300, and a Tatula SV. Put your name in the comments, where you're from, and what reel you hope to win. Uh, we're going to do a draw kind of halfway through this, which will be what? How, how far are we in here, Mark? I can't tell because I'm on my cell phone. Oh, wait. Probably about minutes 20 minutes into the game. About 20 minutes into the game. Yeah. Yeah. So let, let's chat for a few more minutes. Um, do we want to go into maybe some saltwater inshore stuff? Uh, let's talk kind of yeah. redfish, flounder, speckled trout, or if you're here in the, on, the, on the West Coast, Maybe some inshore bay fishing if you're up uh, up north, you know, salmon fishing, rock fishing, that kind of stuff. Um, what would you recommend for someone looking for a setup there? Well, if you're you're fishing in the bay or in the Gulf or anything like that nature, we make two really great reels. We make uh, uh, the coastal reel, and then we make the coastal SV. So the SV technology that we talked about, we make that in a saltwater reel. And what we okay. do different in both of those reels, we actually use our CRBB which is our corrosion resistant ball bearings. Um, they go through a, another process of protection, really reducing any type of uh, corrosion that you might find. And especially in the Gulf, the Gulf has much more salinity than the Pacific Ocean. So you really need those CRBBs to, you know, get you through that day in and day out of guys that are, you know, kayak fishing through the, you know, the, in the Gulf region from Louisiana and Texas and all that, that, that stuff area. It works also very good for our spotted bay bass here in Southern California. Yeah. I've been uh, walking the, the, the beaches early in the morning before work and, and after and, and using a coastal and um, getting splashed by waves and, and things like that. And, and a fabulous reel for that kind of stuff. So, um, well, cool. Well, I think let's let's uh, why don't we look at those comments and uh, and see if uh, if we have a winner selected before we jump into a little kind of commercial break. Where what okay. what was that video on Mark um, jumping into like uh, Nika rigging or something like that for for yeah, freshwater? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, like said we do rods, reels, lures, gear, accessories. We do all that kind of stuff, you know. And that that Nico rig's a great bait for pretty much. We had a thing. Is there a hundred ways to rig a Nico rig? I don't think there's a hundred, <laughs> but there's a good twenty different ways to rig a Nico bait. Nice. Well, awesome. Let's uh, let's see if we're ready to to jump into that. Okay. If we're not yet, um, well, Joy Randall see. just put something up there. Oh, we did. Nice. Well, while we're, while we're waiting, if you, if you want to jump into um, basically, you know, the Nico rigs and stuff like that, talking mm -hmm. about talking about baits. I know Satoshi also, who's um, from Japan, and yep. he's involved in a lot of your guys' uh, lure manufacturing stuff like that. I was just out uh, uh, maybe like three weeks ago. Uh, throw in the new Soltiga poppers that you guys make. And yep. uh, oh, we're, my favorite. We, yeah, um, you kind of talked me into 
I'm going with one of those 5,000 size uh, Soltis with the, the J braid. And man, we had bluefin tuna breezing along the surface and we're getting up in front of them and casting those poppers. And man, it was insane. So uh, that was the first time I got to use one of uh, uh, Satoshi's uh, poppers there. And, you know, like you said, you guys make rods, reels, line, um, everything in between. So kind of a one-stop shop for, for everything. We do. We've really expanded in, in, into that whole category. And um, yeah, Sudoshi does a wonderful job. Uh, he's in charge of lures and line. And from our, our J braid that we do, our, our 8X Grand, our 4X, uh, we just came up with the new uh, Samurai braid. Um, and then we also, uh, our floral carbons that we're doing there as well. So um, all that has been very successful on that end. Um, along with the lures, uh, bringing some freshwater lures. Um, all the uh, um, Nico baits are actually made by Yamamoto. We have a great relationship oh, yeah, with right. them as well. Um, so they're all poured in Page, Arizona. Uh, it's our design, uh, but they do all the pouring. We use all their their plastic uh, for that. And uh, it's been a good collaboration with them as well. That's it. The one thing that's cool about Dio is that we, we have good relationships in the industry such as this one right here. Um, we do a lot of stuff with St. Croix. Um, like I said, Gary Yamamoto, all those guys, we really work really well and close with them on that. Yeah. Well, check check the chat um, on, on your computer there, Mark, and see if our in-house team has sent you um, our first winner. Uh, we not, did. We'll uh, it looks like it's Joey Randall, and he's looking for fresh the fresh water, so the Tatuna uh, SV, but I don't know where he's. Um, so that's the only thing that I don't have on there. But cool, Joey well, Randall. awesome. Congrats, Joey. Um, we'll get in touch with you and, and get that uh, Daiwa Tatula shipped out. So um, there still is a Win Lexa 300 available to win. So we're going to jump to that uh, Nico rig video and we'll be right back and stay with us. We'll be drawing that other winner uh, before the end of the show. Sounds great. Pretty good uh -huh. video there. I liked it. it yeah, good. I, I think if there was maybe one bait in the world that I had to travel around with, it would be a Nico rig. You can rig that thing yeah. in a lot of ways. <laughs> a lot of different ways, man. No doubt about it. And that Nico Macho, the fat one. I'll tell you what, that's a great spot of bay bass lure right there. Put a darter oh, nice. head on it. Yeah. Lights out. <laughs> well, welcome back, guys. If you're just joining us, uh, we have Mark Mills uh, in house here from Daiwa. 
We're talking kayak fishing and reels, and we are giving away a uh, Lexa 300. We already gave away a Tatula SP. Um, in addition to that, if you missed out on winning a Tatula, uh, we will be giving away another one at the Bassmaster Classic Expo uh, next week. We'll be in is it Houston, Texas, and Fort Worth, uh, Fort Fort Worth. Worth Texas. I don't even know where I'm going next week. So I know when you start traveling as much as you and I do, we don't even know. We just end up there. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so anyways, uh, thank you guys for the support and, uh, we really appreciate it. Well, let's switch gears a little bit. We've talked about, um, you know, freshwater bass fishing on rivers and lakes, kind of stuff like that, some inshore stuff. Uh, let's talk about something that, you know, is probably my passion and that's getting on my Hobie kayak and going far out there looking for uh those pelagic species like yellowtail or you know rooster fish or cabarrus snappers or or uh or king king mackerel tarpon you know what what does the iowa have to offer for that kind of stuff there's a lot of opportunity for that you know we uh in the last few years we were so focused daiwa was and i've been around for about 60 years we we're so focused on freshwater that in the last five years, especially since I've came on board and the other team members on came on board, we are really looking more towards expanding that uh, into uh, the saltwater market. And uh, we just introduced new Saltiga lever drags. Uh, great opportunity there for slow trolling baits. So if you are slow trolling baits for, let's say, rooster fish or cabara snapper, light the drag, you know, lighten up the drags, you know, start paddling around and you're good to go. Um, that works really well. A lot of spinning tackle. Um, we introduced a new uh, BGMQ. Uh, this is kind of a, a the, the, the new BGMQ, as you can see. Uh, this is a cutaway version. Uh, look at the gear that's on that. It's massive. Wow. Um, you still get the same gear ratio, but that massive gear gives you more power, more torque, um, and better durability uh, on that reel. So that's been a great seller. That came out a few months back, and it's it's just, we can hardly keep it in stock. And especially this year, this year, fishing industry, we're so fortunate. Um, but it's, it's incredible, but, but it's a really good reel and it's holding up very well. So we got a lot of opportunity. Yeah. I think, uh, one reel that I personally love too, is, uh, just the Daiwa Soltis conventional star drag reel. Mm -hmm. Um, those Soltigas, I, um, I actually purchased a couple and I'm going to take them fishing for, for bluefin tuna and I can't wait to put them to use, but for me personally, fishing out here in Southern California, I have caught more yellowtail or sea bass on on a Daiwa Saltis, the old uh, uh, black and gold one. And now now there's a newer a newer look to them. Um, what's like the what's the difference between kind of the those two those two looks so, or models? So between well, for the most part, between the you know we make a Saltiga Star Drag and the the Saltis Star Drag, and you're talking about the Saltis Star Drag, correct? Basically, yeah. they're very similar reels. Um, the difference between the Saltiga and the Saltis is the Saltiga is a machine frame. The Saltis is a die cast frame. Both still very good. But that Saltis die cast makes it a little bit more affordable. And it can be a little bit easier on the pocketbook for, you know, a kayak mm -hmm. angler that could flip over, could get wet, could drop, whatever. Um, but they're a really great reel. I like star drags personally better than I do the lever drags. Um, great for casting and just an all-around good reel. Um, what we've did difference between the, the black and gold ones and now the, the, the blue and black ones is, uh, mm -hmm. we've actually made it a one piece frame instead of a one piece frame and on a bolt in side plate, it's all a side plate and frame all together that keeps all the bearings and the gears in precise alignment. That's what gives you the durability and the smoothness on that. So okay. that's one of the biggest features right there. Very cool. Well, that. um, Okay. Well, yeah, um, you know, with that in mind and, and talking salt water, guys, just don't forget, if you haven't entered yet and you're just joining us, put your name, where you're from, and uh, and you'll be entered to win the the Daiwa Alexa um, Baycaster. And um, also wanted to touch on a couple other things. We have a TV show called Hobie Outdoor Adventures. You can find it at Hobie.com. We've actually been filming it for uh, about 10 years. And since we started that show, Daiwa has been a supporter of it. So I've been um, lucky enough to actually go through a lot of these changes that you're talking about and, and product mm -hmm. improvements. And man, your guys' stuff has just been getting better and better. 
Um, if you guys are interested in seeing some of the, the Daiwa reels in in use uh, while we're kayak fishing, check out HobieOutdoorAdventures.com. Um, another couple of places you guys support us are Hobie Bass Open Series. Um, we have a tournament coming up uh, on Lake Sam Rayburn. And I know you were saying you fished there a couple times, right? Well, it's one of my favorite lakes. Yeah, that lake in September, remember, lights out, frog fishing, love it. It's like the best place, uh, and especially <laughs> fishing lily pads and stuff like that. We don't get to fish a lot of lily pads out here in Southern California. So that right. place is is really awesome. Yeah, it's such a treat to get over there. We have, I think, around 85 anglers signed up for it already. Check out uh, HobieBassOpenSeries.com for more details. We have other events coming up. Um, we've been averaging about 130 anglers per, uh, per uh, event. We're paying out over $75,000 um, at a tournament of champions. So there's some big paychecks uh, these anglers are are taking home. You know, it's not uncommon for someone to walk home with a seven to $8,000 check, you know, and we pay out oh, no. 100%, yeah, 100 percent of entry fees um, pretty much once we take out um, a fee for the Tourney X app and PayPal and stuff like that, we pay it back to the anglers. And so on behalf of Hobie, Mark, um, know that we are very, very grateful on, be on behalf of Hobie and the entire bass fishing community for Daiwa support there. You guys have been awesome. So if you're a bass angler uh, and you're looking to get a new reel, make sure you check out Daiwa. Um, you guys really help support us and we want to give back however we can, you know. So. Yeah, we appreciate that. We love that. And like I said, tournament angling, I, I, I fish a lot of tournaments, freshwater, saltwater, and there's something about it. I mean, once you get into that culture, it's just every day out on water, you're always competing, not with other anglers, but you're always competing against yourself. And that's super fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And then one other pl uh, thing I wanted to touch on is our Hobie Fishing World event. Obviously, with, mm -hmm. with COVID, uh, it's been a little challenging to travel internationally. And um, next year... We plan to go to uh, Umal, Sweden, uh, where we'll be fishing for perch and pike. So that's that's promising to be a super exciting event. Thank you guys for supporting us there. And uh, we look forward to traveling to global destinations and hosting kayak fishing tournaments. Basically what we do with those events is we have 50 or so identically rigged pro angler kayaks with Lorentz Fish Finders, powerful micros on them. Um, all of our sponsors chip in and, and help out. The, the anglers come in from, we've had, we've had events with over 20 different countries represented. And uh, they'll spend about a week there and um, it's a three or four day fishing tournament. And it's just amazing. I've seen um, people make friends for life and uh, it, it's, it's something really special. And I think everyone there has kayak fishing in common no matter where they are in the world and um it's just really cool um yeah what's great about that is that you know we have our relationship here in in, in the states that actually sponsorship comes from daiwa japan and Jaiwa world so it lets everyone know that the relationship that we have with hobie isn't just us you and i and you know the people that we work with yeah. this is a world relationship which is really awesome yeah that's true it's uh and yeah, to give a shout out to um, our companies or, or subsidiaries or, or uh, mm -hmm. I guess mother companies that are based in other places of the world, you know, um, right. we, we work with um, uh, partners in Australia and France and Netherlands to distribute our kayaks throughout the world. And I think it goes for the same way. So it's so cool to have social media and be able to have an international audience kind of see what we're talking about. Obviously we we're both living here in California. This is our backyard and our fishery right here. But, um, you know, it's it's cool to, to get input and also for both of us to get to travel a little bit and use the product in different parts of the world. So no doubt about it. Um, no doubt. Well, cool. Mark, I don't want to keep you on too long. I know no uh, we're both just, yeah, both just back from a, from a three day weekend and got, got plenty <laughs> of stuff to do. But where can um, where can we find Daiwa if we if we want more information? Yeah, Daiwa USA, uh, no, Daiwa USA is what you're going to want to look for it. Um, any of the social media, uh, Daiwa USA, um, you can find us on Facebook or Instagram and all that stuff. Um, we just launched a brand new product. Matter well, I'm going to talk to you guys about it first. We just launched the new uh, 
the new Lexa TW 300 and 400. You guys, everybody's been waiting for that. It's the only saltwater reel that actually has the T-wing system in it. Um, that's right. a huge thing. We launched it this morning. So um, you're the first people we got to talk to you guys about. So, um, which is great wow. for your guys' fishing on that. So yeah, you're, you yeah. Are, you're my platform. <laughs> we can start a media company here. No, there we go. Um, <laughs> hey, there you go. I, uh, I, I woke up this morning and, you know, first thing went on Instagram. I saw that. I'm like, dude, I just spoke to you like a week ago and you just kept your mouth completely zipped. And I had yeah, no idea that was coming. So, I, I, I told you, like, what can we talk about? I'm like, oh, nothing, 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 nothing. All right. Cats out of the bag. Yeah, no, it's so awesome. And I'm, I'm very, very excited to try that. And I'm sure a lot of the people watching here can't wait to, to try that out. You can get about another. Everybody's very familiar with our Alexa reels. They they like them, no doubt about it. They cast really well. But with this TW or T-wing system, you'll get another twenty to thirty percent further cast and less oh. backlashes. Um, it's been waiting. Everybody's been waiting on this for years. And like, Mark, when are you going to build this? When are you guys going to build this, Iowa? Guess what? It's out now. Cats out of the bag. Nice. Should be able to get yeah, it in gonna... stores probably in the next week or so. I'm gonna have to sneak another one into my arsenal there. But so well, you we, make it. I know where the... you can find one. <laughs> you make it in the 300 and 400 side. So yeah. um, from from my experience kayak fishing, I love the 400. I've caught tarpon on them. I've caught um, tuna. I, that's my go-to surface iron um, casting reel for yellowtail. Uh, they are strong little reels. And um, and just everything about them is, is bulletproof. And now being able to cast that much further, that's going to be a complete game changer. So excited yeah, for that. Further cast, you've got an adjustable handle from 70, mil 70 millimeters to 90 millimeters. And we have a very unique guide train on this. We use both a brass and a stainless steel pinion gear on that. Um, and that's for better durability since it is designed for saltwater fishing. You know, catching big bluefin tuna on it. Believe it or not, the fish that you can catch on these Lexus is amazing. And casting heavy lures in and out of gear. So it's a, a very unique reel. And it casts further than any expanded low profile on the market. Hands down, by far, guarantee it. Wow, that's awesome. And then the, the 300 size is going to be kind of what your, your calico bass. What would what would yeah. people in other parts of the world or country use that for? You know what? Um, you know, here it's calico bass are tight inshore fishing on swim baits. Um, we're seeing a mm -hmm. big influx of anglers in Florida fishing the, the 300, especially for snook under the bridges or, you know, up tight against mangroves, that kind of stuff. Um, striper guys use it. Um, uh -huh. You know, we're Pretty much, I mean, all over the world, you know, anything in that larger size, musky anglers, pike anglers, um, all that kind of yeah. stuff um, is really good. The, both of those reels are getting 28.7 pounds of drag pressure. That's a ton of drag oh. pressure. So what's yeah. being accomplished on these reels, it just keeps going up and up and up. So nice. I'm, I'm getting ready to shoot a video on Friday to catch some big tuna on it. So we'll see what it can do. Uh. I'll be looking for my invite. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'll, 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 bring you, I'll bring you some. I'll bring you a chunk of tuna. I promise. <laughs> well, nice. I could see those Lexus really coming in as a choice reel at the Hobie Fishing Worlds for those pike uh -huh. guys. That's yep, going to be awesome. That's, they'll well, be great for that. Well, cool, Mark. Well, we really, really appreciate having you guys on from Daiwa, and um, can't thank you enough. Uh, anything else before we say our goodbyes? Oh, we got to find out. We got to pick the winner too on the 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 three hundred win. Yeah. So okay. Um, the the winner it was on there is Jay Park of Charlotte, North Carolina. The Lexa three hundred win. So nice. he's getting that. There you one. go. Yep. Either some Good big uh, bull, big bull redfish, or maybe stripers. I'm not sure. It depends on the time of year. They get them both. But I'm gonna bet that he's fishing redfish. I if I had to guess off the yeah, surf, this would be good for him. Well, awesome. So, well, go ahead, Mark. Uh, Sorry. I was going to just say, hey, thank you very much. Um, thanks, Hobie, as well. Um, you and I need to get out there, do a little bit more more fishing together. And uh, like I said, do, you're going to have to get me to, to go out there and, and paddle a little further, kick on out there, out past, out past the breakers. Yes. So I got to get in shape. I got to start running a little bit. It's It's been too long. Summertime's here. Um, yep. And also, guys, if you are watching this and you, you kind of enjoyed it, and you want to see more of it, we are going to, over the next couple of months, uh, be having more of our partners on and, and trying to do some more live stuff like this where you can ask questions and uh, get a little bit of an inside look at uh, some of the partners that we choose to work with because they make 
the best equipment for kayak fishing out there and Daiwa reels. Uh, me personally, I can't uh, speak highly, more highly of them. And so thank you so much, Mark. And um, I think we're gonna close off with one last little video before we before we go goodbye. But All if right. not- Well, thank you yeah, very much. Thank you, Mark. And thanks everyone for joining us. Stop number six. Uh, this is this is one where you could see records broken. They're going to Lake Sam Rayburn, Jasper, Texas, June 5th and 6th. So now we're totally switching gears and we're going from post-spawn straight into the summertime pattern. And Lake Sam Rayburn is so well known for producing giant, I mean giant largemouth bass, and you will see them in this tournament. On Rayburn, early June, definitely I would consider an early summertime pattern. That deep brush pile bite is gonna be really, really good. Fish that are done spawning, they've transitioned out in that deeper water, 15 to 30 foot brush piles, outside edge of grass, that's gonna be a key. But listen to me, on Sam Rayburn, if you like to fish shallow, don't worry because there's always, I mean always a shallow water bite on Rayburn and you can win flipping, especially if the water happens to be high. Don't count out the shallow water bite.